Hi, I'm Carrie Elizabeth Lynn. I'm a licensed professional counselor and I also have bipolar disorder myself. Today I'll be talking with you about why it's important to understand symptoms when you have bipolar disorder. This is part of a set of videos I'm doing called Speaking of Symptoms, in which I'll be describing symptoms of depression, mania and hypomania, as well as symptoms of other disorders that tend to co-occur with bipolar disorder. So why is it important to learn about symptoms? Why is it important to get a really good understanding of them? Well, ultimately it can help a great deal in managing the illness and staying well. And there are three reasons for that. First, it helps you make sense of the illness. Second, it helps you prevent relapses by spotting early warning signs. And third, it allows you to communicate effectively with mental health providers. So first off, it can help you make sense of the illness. This is particularly true for people that have been recently diagnosed. But even if you've been diagnosed for some time, understanding symptoms better may help in this way. There can be a lot of feelings that come with being diagnosed with a mental disorder. Some people are relieved and hopeful, but many experience fear, confusion, and a loss of hope and control. People sometimes see bipolar disorder as a big, terrible, inexplicable thing. So for many people, I won't say all, but for many, learning about symptoms can help you gain a sense of control. It can help you interpret what you're experiencing as part of an illness rather than something bizarre and baffling. And it can help you see that you are not your diagnosis. By extension, it can also help to reduce mental illness stigma, in particular, self-stigma. So public stigma is when others think someone with a mental illness is socially unacceptable. And self-stigma is when you internalize that and think that you are unacceptable. That leads to feelings of shame and inadequacy. And studies have shown that self-stigma prevents people from getting well and staying well. There are a number of ways to reduce self-stigma. And one way is to understand that what you're experiencing are symptoms of an illness and that who you are is much bigger than that. Second, understanding symptoms helps you prevent relapses by spotting early warning signs. I wrote a three-part series about relapse prevention for the International Bipolar Foundation blog, which you can find on their website. In that series, I talked about the importance of recognizing early warning signs, as well as learning your triggers and understanding what management strategies work for you. Early warning signs can include symptoms of bipolar disorder or co-occurring disorders, perhaps in a milder form. If you spot those symptoms and catch them early, you can prevent them from getting worse. And in order to spot them, you have to know what you're looking for. <clears throat> so if you educate yourself on symptoms and also develop self-awareness, which is another key part of relapse prevention, then you can look at yourself and say, I'm experiencing X symptom of depression, or I'm experiencing Y symptom of mania. This is really important when it comes to both depression and mania, because if you cannot do that, it's very easy to get caught up in thinking that what you're experiencing is you. For example, there's a symptom of depression called anhedonia, which means you can experience pleasure in things that are normally pleasurable. Now, if you're experiencing anhedonia and you don't recognize that as a depression symptom, you'll think that you are incapable of experiencing pleasure, 
which is likely to get you caught in a trap of hopelessness and despair. But if you can recognize that lack of pleasure as a symptom of depression before it gets too severe, if you can take a step back and say, oh yeah, that's part of depression, then you can use strategies that will prevent the depression from getting worse. The third reason it's important to understand symptoms is that it allows you to communicate effectively with mental health providers. When it comes to mental health care, your verbal report is vital. There's no lab test that tells your provider what's going on. There are assessment instruments like paper pencil surveys, but they don't give the whole picture and not everybody uses them. And appearance is unreliable. Many of us have a finely honed ability to hide what we're experiencing. This is actually a big problem because, unfortunately, many mental health providers rely on appearance to assess people way more than they should. One time when I was very depressed, I visited a psychologist, and she told me essentially that I couldn't be that depressed because I had painted my toenails. That was the first and last time I visited that psychologist. I could tell pretty quickly that she wasn't going to be able to help me. But the point is, a lot of the time, even with providers who are more sensitive, it's up to us to describe what's going on. So if you understand symptoms and can describe them to your mental health provider, what they are, when and how often you've been having them, and whether they're mild, moderate, or severe, you're going to give them a really clear picture of what's going on. And that helps them help you. If you're seeing a psychiatrist or other prescriber, they can tailor your medications to your symptoms. And if you're seeing a psychotherapist, they can tailor their treatment approach. So that sums up why it's important to understand symptoms when you have bipolar disorder. I'll be doing more videos on symptoms, so you can look for other ones in this set called Speaking of Symptoms. Thanks for watching, and here's to good mental health.